Hello guys, so I know this is definitely not the best way to start a video. Basically, this video was filmed in April of 2022. It's now February 2023. And a lot of it, basically, I'm going to leave timestamps in the description so you can skip to different parts of the video. But basically, I bought a used MacBook Air. I was waffling on at the minute, um, complaining because... I'd got all the accessories for the MacBook, but I hadn't got the actual MacBook since no one was home when it got delivered, and I was just complaining about it. So, yeah, just thought I'll put this in front of the video, just to let you know that you don't have to sit and watch me complaining about stuff. You can just skip to the actual unboxing of the MacBook. Another thing I want to point out was, well, this was ages ago, so it doesn't matter now, but as you see on my eye, basically, like, the red bit there if you're wondering what that is my eye was bloodshot for some reason but look, it's all right now <laughs> my eyes all right now but yeah so if you just want to get straight into the unboxing then skip to that but yeah hello guys welcome back to another video so in today's video is a bit different to what i normally do so i've bought a new laptop well, not exactly new it's used it's a 2015 macbook air 13 inch uh, so yeah, I can't do like a proper like unboxing like I'd normally do because obviously it's not it's used I don't think it comes with the proper Apple box so It would just be me bum wrapping it out of bubble wrap and setting it up really uh, But I still wanted to make a video on it just because I thought it'd be interesting So like, I've got the case for it. So you know, some people being like, oh, why are you putting a case on a laptop? But I want to take care of it. Uh, I don't think I mentioned how much the laptop was the laptop was 200 quid Which is really good for a MacBook, which is why I bought it really um, I'm, I'm just going to talk about all this stuff, but to be honest, the MacBook probably won't get a lot of use when I'm at home because I've got my PC and this is more powerful than the MacBook because obviously it's only a MacBook Air and it's a 2015 one. So it probably won't get the most amount of use here unless I want to sit downstairs or just be lazy and sit in bed. Um, but it'll probably more like when I go places just because my laptop that got at the minute is not amazing. Um, I just don't bother bringing it anywhere with me, so I'll bring the MacBook with me now, once I get it. Um, so I got this case, it's just a plastic clear one. Um, yeah, that's the thing they give me, because they, when I missed a delivery. Here is a laptop bag I bought, I already had one, but this one's a big one, you've got to like carry it separately. And then over here, my desk is a bit messy, I've got... Uh, Thunderbolt 2 to HDMI adapter. It's not that often I'd ever need to plug the MacBook into a screen, but I have done that with the laptops I've got at the minute, um, and it's very out of nowhere that I would use that, so I thought I'd buy it now. It's not an official Apple dongle or anything, it was £4.50. And then here is this, quite nice actually, for a tenner, um, USB 3 hub. Um, and it's got a gigabit Ethernet port, which I thought would be useful if I ever need to hardwire in the laptop, which might happen, might not. But again, might as well. Uh, and the MacBook does only have two USB ports. So, I mean, to be fair, same, only two USBs. The new ones don't even have one. But, like, you know, if say if I've got a mouse plugged in, that only leaves me with one spare. So, at least with this, I have more USB ports and an Ethernet, which will be quite useful. So hopefully it doesn't take too long for the MacBook to be delivered. I'm really excited for it now. So it's now here. It is, uh, let's say, 20 to 1. It's here. Let's unbox it. So I'm just going to cover my dress while I undo the things. Oh, it seems to be packaged pretty well. So here's the charger. The charger's not in the best condition, but I might just buy another one. I don't know what's happened there to it, but it's normal on that side. Um, yeah, charger's not the best condition, but I'll probably just buy a replacement one and then keep this one as a spare. Oh, it's been all taped. Oh, well. It's only the charger. 
from the pictures, the MacBook looks in really condition, in really good condition. So let's have a look. <laughs> yes. Okay, so there's a slight dent there, but wow, look at it. Wow, look at it. Wow. Very happy. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go. So here we go. United Kingdom. Uh, not now. Okay, I'm connected to my room's internet. Data, yeah. Um, not now. I just set it up as new. So I decided to do most of the setup off camera, just because I really want to do it. Um, but I'll show you round the condition of the device. It is very good. So there's no scratches or anything on the keyboard. All the screens, like, it's, it's really good. The only thing is the top case, I think it's probably been dropped or like dented. Yeah, a bit on that corner, that's fine. A bit of scratching here, not really at the top. It's, uh, I think there's a bit of a dent, yeah, here. Um, that little chip there, but 200 quid is really good. And then on the bottom, it's pretty good on the bottom, but then the bottom's not really important, is it? And all the sides are in good condition. And yeah, I will be using the case with this, but I thought I'd just show you like this. Um, go to about this Mac, I'll show you the specs of it. So it's on the latest version of Mac OS, at least I think this is the latest version. It's an early 2015 model. It's a 1.6 GHz Core i5, it's got 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM and it's just Intel integrated graphics. Yeah, it is not it's not a full HD display, but at least it's higher than 720. It's only got uh, 128 gigs of storage. What I might do is get an NVMe SSD, an adapter to put it in and that upgrade this probably to 500 gigs maybe. Because what I think I might do is um, dual boot it with Windows as well, just because why not? Which obviously that would take <laughs> a lot of storage, but I might do it like how it is at the minute anyway. Try doing that, I'm not sure, but yeah. I've <laughs> I really like this MacBook, it is really good. It, the track pad's really nice, the keyboard's nice, just everything is way better than like my previous laptop. So yeah, that was the last bit of footage that I filmed, obviously I mentioned at the start of the video. This was in April 2022, it's now February 2023. I've almost had this for a year, and in part of that waffle at the start of the video I was talking about how I haven't uploaded in a while, so I need to edit this quickly. It's almost been a year, but oh well, and honestly I would... I love this laptop. I've used it for a lot more than I thought I would. Like, I didn't really think I'd ever use it at home, but I do. There has been points where my PC just kept giving me issues, so I hadn't used the PC. This was set up on my desk, not connected to a screen or anything, just like that, with the charger connected, and then this plugged in with it on Ethernet. Unplugged the PC's Ethernet, plugged it into here. I've literally been using this for Final Cut Pro. I made a YouTube short about how loud the fans are when edit when exporting 4K footage. That's got 265 views. So if you want to know how loud the fans on these get, then go watch that. Since having this, I've also made a video of me installing Windows 10 on it. So go have a look at that. Now, one thing is the battery life on this MacBook is not very good. You see, it says service recommended. Um, and the storage, I think this is only 128 gigabytes. Now I have an 
my phone is a nothing phone one and I have 256 gigabytes of storage so my phone has double the amount of storage as my laptop and obviously editing 4k footage on this would eat up the storage so having low storage isn't too bad because I do just use this external hard drive but yeah which gives me an extra 500 gigabytes so at some point I may upgrade the SSD in this laptop and I may upgrade the battery as well and if I do that I will make YouTube videos on it so they might be coming at some point not sure when not making any promises it might not happen at all but it probably will so yeah thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys come back for another video bye